So Lord, we want to welcome you to Christ Life Spring Fellowship and our pastor's Pastor David Jawa here. And our service from June to August is worship service alone on Sunday at 10 a.m. We'll bring you up to date to the other announcements later, but for now it's only on Sunday morning. Our contact is David Jawa here at Rogers.com and our phone number is 416-567-5794. Uh, reading is from Hebrews chapter 11 from verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for being the proof of things we do not see and the conviction of their reality. Faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. Through faith we understand the world that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do not appear. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Praise the Lord. At this time, I turn it to my husband, Pastor David Jawa here. Praise the Lord. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. God is wonderful. God is mighty. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I greet you this day in the name of Jesus. I want to tell you that God is a good God and the devil is a bad devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is here. Amen. Hallelujah. Where the two and three are gathered in his midst. In his presence, there is him. There is him in our midst to bless us, to meet every need. And God is going to meet your need today. Say that. God is going to meet my need today. Hallelujah. I serve and you serve a living Savior. God is not dead. He's alive. Hallelujah. God is not dead. He's alive. So I want to welcome you today. Welcome all the Facebook listeners, all of you that are here, and those that will join us on YouTube. I want to welcome you. Welcome into the presence of God. Hallelujah. He is mighty. He's omniscient. He's omnipotent. And he's omnipresent. And he's eternal. The only wise God who came in the flesh. God became flesh. And dwell among us. And his name is Jesus. His name is what? Jesus. Say that. His name is Jesus. We exalt the name. We give praise and glory and hallelujah to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So this morning, 
I would like to go into a new series of messages. This series is entitled Faith. Faith. You say, Pastor. You said, David. I hear so much of faith. Me too. Faith is important. Faith takes you into the supernatural. Faith in God will move the mighty mountains. Faith in God will calm the sea. Faith in God will roll back your problems. Do you have faith? Today, we're looking at faith, the unseen. Ram. Faith, your unseen ram. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I would like to go into the Old Testament and take a little. From there, in order to illustrate my message that faith is not in the natural, but faith is in the unseen, the supernatural. In Second Kings, Chapter 6, verse 15. But when the servant of the man of God, the servant of the man of God, arose early and went out, there was an army surrounding the city with horses and chariots. And the man of God, his servant, said, Alas, my master, what shall we do? Ha <laughs> ha. Like so many of us, we wake up this morning and we are in encounter with the problem. We go through the day and difficulties arise. And like every person in the natural, we look at things. This servant of the man of God, Elisha, he woke up early in the morning. And he looked out of his window and he saw a scene that he was not accustomed to. He realized that the enemies had come and encamped around him. They had horses, they had chariots, they had all the weapons. Like sometimes you are in this situation like him. You're faced with so many encounters. You're faced with so many problems, so many difficulties, so many perplexes. And they surround you. And like the man, like the servant, you cry. Oh my God, I'm doing it my way. My God, what shall we do? 
What shall we do now? This is a hard situation. This is a hard situation to face, oh God. What shall we do now? And so, like so many, we are faced with circumstances that we in the natural cannot control. We are faced with situations by our own strength we cannot bend. And so he cry out, what shall we do? Are you, are you crying out like that this morning? So he answered, the man of God, Elisha, answered, do not fear. Say that, do not fear. God did not give you a spirit of fear, but the power of love and of sound mind. And God is telling you this morning, what your soever your situation is, whatsoever your circumstance is, do not fear. Do not fear for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. So Elijah, Elijah was saying to the servant, we got more. <laughs> We got more people than them. They have chariot and horses and soldiers, but we have more. We have the host of heaven back in us. Say that. I have the host of heaven back in me. Hallelujah. You know, the devil believes. He's great, but he's nothing. He's lost already. Our big brother have conquered him at Calvary. Our big brother went down into hell and defeated him. Our big brother have set the captives free. Our big brother has risen beyond the reach of Satan. So greater, say greater, greater is he that is within, within me than he that's in the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray. The man of God said, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. Pray that prayer. Open my eyes, Lord, that I may see. Say it again. Open my eyes, Lord, so that I can see. You see, too many times we are looking in the natural. We are seeing things in the natural. Well, they got so much against me. The court has a case against me. My child is gone. Here why it seemed like I have lost everything. 
I'm in a complex of problem. But God going to open your eyes this morning to see beyond the natural. We, we like this servant, we are looking. The bank account is small. Things are bad. Jobs are not coming. Situation look rough and tough. <laughs> but God is saying, I got it. Say that, I got it. God is saying to you, I got it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the, the Elisha prayed, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened eyes of the young man and he saw. You see, it's not David's duty. It is not my duty as a man of God to open your eyes. But my prayer this morning is that your eyes be open. That you see not with the natural, but with the supernatural. Amen? And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire around, all around Elisha. The mountains in the background, in the surrounding, there are chariots of fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That reminds me of a man. He will pray. And the, the enemy People want to get into his house. But they realize every time this man got down and pray, they cannot get in because there was a barrier. There was a security, a barrier of fire, a ring of fire around him. And so is it with you and your God. If you believe God, and if God will open your eyes, you will not see your enemy. You will see him. You will see the fire of God around you. You will see that God fire is upon your life. The Bible says, after you are filled with the Holy Ghost, you will be filled with the Spirit of God and what? And fire. The fire of God is upon your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember, our topic is on faith. So I brought that New Testament account, that New Testament account, as an illustration of you and me, of the church and the world. Now I come to speak 
to you about faith. Faith exists long before you can think. Before you were born. Before there was anything. Before there was creation. There was faith. And faith was in God. I repeat that. Faith exists long before any creation. And faith is in God. So when we speak, do we speak like the natural man or like the way the devil wants us to speak? Or do we speak like God? Do we see things in the natural realm? Or do we see things like God? So, faith is that element that cannot be defined by time. We cannot say that faith started at this particular time. Faith is eternal. It never go out of style. In every dispensation, in Dispensation of creation. Dispensation of the fall of man. Dispensation in the flood. Dispensation of Abraham time. The dispensation of the giving of the law. Dispensation of Christ. Then the grace of God. There is always faith. Faith started with God. Faith started with God. Faith. If you say you have faith, it means that you look beyond the natural and sees in the spirit realm where God's spirit operate. You see in the what? The spirit realm where God operates. So if you are a child of God, I want you to know your first act of faith was to become a Christian. Was to doubt your doubts and believe the word of God. And the word of God has entered you and the word of God has delivered you and the word of God has saved you. You look beyond the natural. Look beyond the words of man, the ideas of man, and what things man can bring to you in philosophy, in science, and such things. You look beyond that. Philosophy and science and political and sociological ideology, they're all diving and dwelling 
in the natural. But the word of God is in the spirit realm. Is in the supernatural realm. And it is led by the spirit of God. The natural man perceive with his senses. So when you open your mouth to speak, I know if you are talking God-like or the devil-like or like the natural man. When you open your mouth to speak, you must speak in the supernatural realm and that is the word of God the natural man however perceive with his senses things bad things not looking good is this bad outside there you know what city alien the Bank of Kong going down. People are giving. Ah, you don't look at that. That don't really build the church. That propel me to believe God. And I know that God exists and that he is the supplier of every need. I don't look to you, but I look to God. So the natural man is able to register his ideas and concept from the natural environment that he belongs. Whatever happened around you, whatever going on, around you, you look at life in the natural. Like the servant, he said, oh God, what shall we do? What shall we do? Elisha said, Lord, open his eyes. Open his eyes. Hallelujah. But the natural man received not of the Spirit of God. 1 Corinthians 2.14 But the natural man received not of the Spirit of God. I'm telling you today and showing you the way of the Spirit. I'm showing you the way to live by the Spirit. The way to live by the faith of God is the way of living by the Spirit. Not to natural. Hallelujah. For they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. You know, lately the world was faced with the academic, uh, pandemic of COVID-19. And all the scientists and all the men speak. And many of them, they contradict themselves. And they spoke. And later had to go back upon what they said. Well, one thing is sure. The word of God. 
is final and the word of God is eternal. COVID-19 was not solved and still is not solved in the natural. But the supernatural has taken its place. Hallelujah. Many of us were affected by it. Many people die. Many loved ones die. But the word of God has sustained and kept us through it all. Hallelujah. 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 Faith is activated when the supernatural Holy Spirit begin to move. Faith is activated when the supernatural Holy Spirit begin to move. Faith is not, is not in the natural. Any supernatural manifestation must be in the love of God and the faith of God. And for your faith to have results, you must have the love of God flown to you and the faith of God within you. Always remember that the Holy Spirit, the eternal Spirit, the Spirit of God that is now within this world is the one that operates the gift of faith. The gift of faith. And the one that brings faith to you. The one that reveals the revelation into your life. The faith of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This manifestation takes on a divine and should not be fake. So in this world, you find fake movers, people that do all sort of what I call fake miracles. You know, like in the time of Moses, he put down his rod and his rod became a snake. Pharaoh's magician put down their rod. But what happened? Yes, if they became snake. But the rod of Pharaoh, the rod, oh sorry, the rod of Moses swallowed. The rod or the snakes of Pharaoh. Which tells me that God's power is higher than any other. And today there's a lot of deception in the world when it comes to religion, but today I present to you the author and the finisher of our faith, and the author and finisher of our faith is Jesus, hallelujah, and without him, nothing in this world will exist. With 
without the altar and furniture, nothing will exist. Why could say today, by the grace of God, we are saved through faith. And today I have to close here. I have to close here. And so I leave with you faith, Jesus, the living word of God that brings faith into your life and bring purpose into your life. I believe it to the word of God that is eternal and faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And when you operate without faith, you operate in the natural. When you operate in the natural, that is when Satan gets a hold of your mind and your thoughts and your ideas and your doctrine. And he creates Havoc within your life. But God wants to bring you out of that. The rottenness. The evil. The wickedness of Satan. He wants to deliver you from the dulcium that Satan Wants to bring you out, bring you into. Satan deceive, deceive Eve, and the world plunge into sin. I say to you today, this morning, don't make the devil deceive you. Don't allow the things that surround you. Govern your life. But look to Jesus Christ. The author and finisher of your feet. He is the word of God. And he is the living word of God. And feet come by hearing. And hearing the word of God. And that word is going to come in you now, 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 and break the yokes of the enemy, and break the powers of Satan, and break the, the oppression over your life, and break your sicknesses and diseases, and break every powers of Satan, the Faith of God, the word of God, going to come in you. And you shall live and not die, but declare the glory of God upon this earth. Let us pray. Hallelujah. 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 Shalabababababababa. Shala ba 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 ba. Let us pray. Let us pray. Believers, pray. Hallelujah. 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 Shala ba 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 ba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Glory to God, glory to God, glory, 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 glory to God. Hallelujah. Shalababa. Shalababa. 
Shala Baba. I want to pray for that person that need Jesus as Lord and Savior. You are saved not by good works or what you can do, but the word of God declares that you are saved by the grace of God through faith. So if today you could look to Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith, and see him as the one that will come in your life to bring your peace, your joy, and bring satisfaction to your spirit man and to your soul and to your body. Reach out by faith and believe God and say, Jesus, come into my life. Now in the name of Jesus, you have said that. Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me of my sins. Deliver me from every oppression. Deliver me in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The Lord has done that. And the Lord is a good Savior, is a mighty Savior. And I speak the peace of God into your life. I speak holiness into you. I speak the joy of God, the peace of God, the love of God into your life. In Jesus' name. There are so many people with problems. And there are problems in your lives. You cannot solve them. I say, look to Jesus, the author and finisher of your fate. And my prayer today is that you would grow in the faith of God. Say that. I will grow in the faith of God. And so right now I speak to every believer, to every person that's gone through a situation a circumstance that they cannot handle. They don't know what to do. I just want to say, Jesus, say that with me. Jesus, Jesus, step into our problem. Step into our care. Step into what surrounds us and do a work. And let your angels, your supernatural, come into play. The chariots of fire come into our life. And in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, bless us, deliver us, and bring us through this situation. Bring us through this situation in the name of Jesus. This is David telling you God loves you. He cares about you. He understands what is going on in your life. He wants to deliver you and set you free. Just reach out. And touch the Lord. Reach out and touch him. My prayer has got 
the presence of the Lord Jesus. So, Father, in Jesus' name, reach out to every person today and touch them. Love them. Bring peace to the home. Bring peace to the situation. I speak peace. I speak peace. Like you calm the storm in that boat. I said, peace, be still. Peace, be still. Ha, 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 ha. Peace, be still. And you will see what manner of man he is. He is Jesus. He is Jesus. Said Jesus. 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 God bless you. And see you next week. Hallelujah.